Hello everyone, I just want to announce here that I'm going to attempt a little deal I have with one of my friends, and that is to upload a Let's Play video every single day for at least an entire month, starting April 13th to May 13th, so you can expect a lot more content within the next month, within the next month, blah blah blah, and it's going to hopefully be daily, so be sure to tune in and enjoy your episode. And now we are pretty much done with this area, but... We're going to want to go back into a certain area so we can go ahead and get a heart piece. Now, if you go down here, the monkeys aren't there anymore for whatever reason. So we're actually going to want to go this way now. But now that we have the power to control wind, we can actually force this bridge to go this way. And if we're fast enough, we can make it all the way across and finish! And you're going to die! <sighs> Thank you very much. And uh, we're going to want to use the boomerang to get this monkey out of here, which will be our fifth monkey. There's even more monkeys. And he, you know, does exactly what I wish I could do. But we'll meet up with him later. Well, I guess there are still some monkeys you haven't freed yet. At this point, you should just save them all and see what you can get for him. That's basically hinting you saying, free all of them! Wait, am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. Alright, so let's go ahead and... And get out of my way, freaking Zubat! Um, that's right, also, flying enemies, you can actually use the boomerang on them, and it'll actually, like, it'll fling them away, but because it's a boomerang, it'll actually fling them back to you. So, just saying. Alright, now we're actually gonna wanna go back into... Was it this room? We're gonna wanna go back into this room. Okay, so as you, this is a familiar area, I'm sure some of you can tell, but we're gonna want to go back in this room, which was the uh, room with all the floor, uh, floor termites, I guess we would call them! Okay, I almost thought I would do that. Anyways, what you can actually do is you can use the boomerang to get rid of these guys. Such as, oh, no? Okay. And you can then on fight them, fight them, from then on. Just, can't die, 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 die! And they die in the water for whatever reason. And you can do the same thing here. But we're, what we're actually going to want to do, if, you, if you've noticed, these uh, torches I've lit up before are no longer lit. So we can actually unlit or unlight, I don't know. Uh, I don't know the word. Distinguish these flames. Extinguish these flames. There we go. And doing such a thing will lower down all of the... Uh, all of the stairs, except for this one, this one decided to cooperate, and doing so will allow us to go here. So let's go ahead and do that, and now we can be get, I believe, a heart piece. There we go! Third piece of heart. So now we have a total of three heart pieces, two more, and then we'll get a full-on heart container, which I will show how to get later on. Um, again, I've said this before, I don't know if I'm going for 100%, I kind of just want to play this game. So, if I decide to go for 100%, I have the right- If I decide not to go for 100%, I have the right to do so. So, please don't hate me for such- For giving a random decision. Um, let's skip these enemies. Because we don't need to take care of them anymore, because they already died, so they respawn for whatever reason. But we showed that we are superior. And the monkeys are back here! Uh, so let's go ahead and head back over here. Now what we can actually do is we can actually break down some of these things. But mainly this chest right here is what we want. Well, if you so desire, and you can get f five rupees from that. So go ahead and open this chest, and you will receive compass, which allows us to find out where uh, hidden objects are in this dungeon. Uh, hello. If it isn't something useful, as long as you have that, you should be able to find where the captured monkeys are, right? That is correct, for you can actually see red, red dots where the monkeys are actually located, uh, if you would be so kind. Oh, I have to drag it. You can see a monkey there, and a monkey there. You see two monkeys, and there are chests hidden, so we're gonna have to go ahead and get those. But anyways, let's go ahead and get rid of these, uh... Get rid of these, uh... Lights. Turn up the- Aw, oh, dang it. Because doing so will actually allow us to get a little item. Or at least, I think, a little item. I'm not entirely sure. Ah, oh, God! Excuse me. I keep pressing A, because I think that means launch. But whatever, you can actually uh, target up to five times. And I totally real. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and go down here. And we're gonna want to go ahead and 
use this bomb bug bomb bug to blow this entrance up. Thank you very much. And I believe this is just some rupees, but it's something, it's nice to collect. I spent way too much time gathering this, but I got it, so, you know. Whatevs! Can't believe I just said that. Moving on. So now we're actually, where's the place we're gonna wanna go? I believe it's this way, that where we wanna go. Is it this way? Yes, this is the correct way. I'm not looking on my little mini-map over to the bottom left corner, which is very helpful, by the way. So let's go ahead and head over here. And remember this area? This is the place where we need to go. However, first before, uh, if you remember when we went through here, we got a key. But uh, we could not advance further past that. But first, before we do that, we're going to want to head over here. Let's go ahead and... Oop. Didn't want to use the lantern. Going to want to use the boomerang. And as you can see on the ground, there's a little Z for Zelda, I guess. And you want to um, throw the boomerang in that specific order. So go ahead and do that. And there you go. Doing such a thing will give us this fancy little treasure chest, which will allow us to get... Da -da 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 -da. Whenever it comes up. Da -da 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 -da. I got the key! Alright, I'm sorry if I'm ripping off other Let's Players, but I do that normally. I know a certain Let's Player always went like, I got the thing! But I just want everyone to know that I thought of it first. I'm totally kidding. No. <sighs> I would, did, I, it was cool. I did it before it was cool. I did it far before it was cool. I'm just kidding. But I did do that like whenever I played the game. Whenever that happened, I'd be like, What am I gonna get? 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 I got the key! Anyways. Let's uh, stop ripping off other people. So as you remember, there's, uh, there's a bridge over here that we need to get to, but we did, there was no source of wind, so now that we have our own source of wind, we might as well do this. Um, now I could, oh, uh, text message? Oh, sorry, I just need to read that. Actually, it's really weird, I, you guys might not want to read this text message. Uh, I have a text message from one of my friends, he's part of the, um, uh, uh, he's part of my huge group of friends, not like online, but it's like my personal ones, and he sent me, he just sent me a text saying, um, Hey, I think I actually want to start making gaming vids. Well, interesting! I might want to respond to that later. Alright, so anyways, now you can see that there are more monkeys to save. You can see where all of them are over there. So maybe what will happen when we get all of the monkeys. But let's go ahead and go ahead and head back. And for some reason, even though there was no source of wind, the bridge went back to where it was. Stop doing that game. So let's go ahead and uh bring this back to normal, and that will cause these goblins to want to march towards us, but let's go ahead- Ah! Oh, goodness. Let's go ahead and get rid of that, and there's another- Where'd the other one go? Did the other one just, like, fall off? Where'd he go? Okay. Moving on. Let's just, uh, head over this way. I kinda wanna respond to that text message right now. I might do that. Dude, I might do that one right now. Um, right. Right, what am I doing in this area? Okay, might want to look up. There's a spider right there. That is the one place you do not want to go. Actually, I believe... I think... Oh, holy crap, there's more than one. Oh, hey. Yeah, right, you can actually do that as well. Uh, let me show that trick really fast. There's a spider down here. If you go ahead and spin attack, or do a successful spin attack, and go ahead and do a finishing blow, it automatically kills them. You know what, hold on. I'm so sorry to do this on camera, but... Dude, I need to freaking text this. Alright. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. I'm recording right now. I'll get back to you, l 8 er Anyways, moving on. Sorry, and as you can hear, there's a monkey right below us, so we're gonna want to go ahead and burn that. And... Here's the monkey. If you cho if you choose poorly, I believe down below, I kind of hit the microphone right there, sorry, my bad. Um, if, I believe down below, you'll have to face a spider, or not a spider, but a little, uh, yeah, I think that's a spider over there, so we're gonna not want to take care of that, because spiders are disgusting and gross. I don't know who loves nature, but 
I'm pretty sure there's some people out there, but, uh, didn't mean to offend anyone, but I freaking hate spiders. I'm so scared of them. You have no idea. I, ah! Oh! Oh! I almost died there. I wasn't paying attention. That was close. Also, one thing that I'd like to mention about this game is how slow Link climbs in this game. At least in, like, friggin' Skyward Sword, you were able to, like, swing the Wii Remote and you'd go faster or you'd jump every time. I know it would waste energy, but, you know, whatever. And I believe we actually need to go get a key. Do I even have a key to use? I don't have a key to use. And I'm stuck. Right. Right. I believe... Where the hell am I supposed to get that key? Right, uh, let's assume we gotta go that way. And, uh, what the hell? Where's the key? Oh, God. Uh, this is awkward. Um, well, in the meantime, let's just head over this way. Uh, we can go ahead and cross this bridge over here. Let's go ahead and light this. And, uh, go ahead and light that. You can actually time that to be a lot more specific, but who cares about me? Oh, ah! Piece of sh ah! And faster way to get up is do a finishing blow. Anyways, now you no longer have to use the slingshot on these spiders, by the way. So let's go ahead and target that. Target them. And there's one up there. So let's get all three of them at once. They actually all died the moment they hit the ground. So whatever. I don't think they would produce any rupees or anything. <laughs> produce. Anyways. Climb faster, Link. Take your time. Anyways. I need some water. My throat's getting dry. Um, over here, there's no item over here. Just making, just double checking, because I kind of want to get almost everything in this game. Or not in this game, in this dungeon. Because I played this game an immense amount of time, immense amount of times, and I know, like, the first two dungeons by heart. Third dungeon, I don't know very well. And for those of you who have played this game, you understand why. Um, so, uh, but I will be able to get through that. And all the other dungeons I pretty much know very well. Uh, I basically know the first two, like, by heart, though. Right, here's where the key is, actually. The key is actually head is right over here, but we'll get that in a moment. So let's, actually, we're gonna want to get rid of these guys. So let's get rid of you. And let's get rid of you. There we go. Yeah, you're dead. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for dying. You're dead. Ow! Oh, 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 no! You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Thank you very much. Okay, now as you can see, there's a rock over here. What you can try to do is boomerang a, uh, is, uh, use the boomerang to get this, uh, bomb bug over to you, and then you throw it at precise timing. Or you could just target that, and then target the rock, you know, whichever's up to you. Because either way, you'll destroy it. I believe my way is better, but there's both ways of doing it. And when you head over here, go up, I'm... Okay. My couldn't... My nunchuck was, like, facing up... Well, like, the analog stick was facing upwards, but he was moving sideways for whatever reason. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. Final blow this! Thank you very much. And there's some, uh... Deku Babas in the ceiling. But anyways, at this point, this is the point where you're gonna wanna... Just use the boomerang normally to get a bomb. That you can... Place right here. I kind of wish you could roll in this game. Like, you could roll the bomb like you could in, uh... Skyward Sword. That, I thought that that idea was pretty cool that they could have used in Twilight Princess, and it would have been a superior game to Skyward Sword, in my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys actually think? What do you guys think about Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess? Which one do you think is better? I personally say Twilight Princess, and it could give a huge amount of reasons why. I could give a plethora of reasons why, but uh, we're not gonna go there. Anyways, I think what you can do is you can target this. But yeah, I'd like to know you guys' opinion. Target that, and that will cause the boomerang to head over to the- Oh! I guess I have to throw it. Okay. There we go, boom, I thought for sure you could just boomerang and target both of them, but whatever. Alright, moving on, let's go ahead and head over here, and here's where you can actually get the key. So we kind of did that out of order. Like I said, you can do it in any order. One, one, there's one specific way that's faster. I didn't really do the fast way. I think here you were supposed to go first and then go back. Uh, but regardless, it, you can do it either way. 
there's really like a plethora of uh, possible combinations you can do. Um, anyways, when you're down here, all right, we're gonna have to time this. There's something I can do here. You're gonna have to time this very quickly. But basically, you want to uh, hit those two at the same time. Oh, it didn't. Oh, okay, never mind. It, w it wasn't the right scenario. Basically, I could have gone from like uh, one side to the other, like through the bridges, all in like one s one fell swoop. Uh, but I, the placement was wrong for the bridges. Oh well, can't show that trick. But whatever. Let's move on. And for some reason, this bridge gets its own source of wind somehow. Let's go ahead and hit that. And last area is the one with the locked door. So let's go ahead and get here. Get over here. And this place is fairly easy. This is the place I was talking about earlier. Uh, in the other room, such as this, there's actually a little trick you can do. If you uh, stand like right here, and you actually uh, f walk into this, he'll throw you onto this ledge, which actually has an item on it. Which I think you can get here just by running towards it, but this is a faster way of doing it, I guess. I don't know. But there you go. Now we have a red rupee. Also, another. F and also, this allows us to. Okay, I need to. Stop targeting. I believe this lets us head over here in a shorter manner. You, normally, you'd have to go through the basement and uh, take... Okay, god, you're gonna be awfully difficult, oh, difficult, aren't you? Anyways, uh, normally you'd have to go down the basement, like down there, and climb up here, and then go and get that, but that's a shorter way for me doing... Uh, shorter way of doing it. Yeah, so tell me if you guys actually knew about that, because I felt so superior when I found out that... Like method. Alright, well. <clears throat> that monkey is saved, and now we are pretty much done here. So that was like a faster way of uh, getting up here. I could show the normal way, but I'd rather not. Since if you're gonna follow me, just do it my way. Pl trust me, it's a faster way. It's not breaking the game either, it's just like they. the game place their. Uh, place their enemies awkwardly and conveniently. Let's go ahead and head over here. And let's go through the door. And now that we have all the monkeys, let's see what happens. And now, with a plethora of monkeys, I don't know why I keep saying plethora, I learned that word like a couple weeks ago and I've been using it like, obsessively. But anyways, uh, now that we have a monkey swing, let's go ahead and grab it at the right time and we're gonna wanna let go at the same time too. If you let go at the wrong time, you're actually gonna die. There's no item up here, right? Okay, misleading vines. Anyways, what you wanna do when you're over here is you actually wanna go ahead and equip your, uh, your empty bottle. Thank you very much. And there's a fairy around here somewhere. Oh, there you are. So we're gonna want to go ahead and scoop that. And now we have fairy in a bottle. What this does is, if you uh, you could use it to heal eight hearts right away, or if you die, it'll automatically heal you. Now I don't want to accidentally uh, use that, so let's just stick with the boomerang. Anyways, once you're ready, we already have the boss key, so let's open the door with... I don't know how we reach the lock since it's insanely higher than us. But! Let's just walk in. Twilight Parasite Diababa. So basically, it's just two Deku Babas. What you want to do is go ahead and equip your boomerang, target a bomb bug, and target the head of them. And that will cause one of them to eat it, and they will implode. Very simple, right? Easy boss. Very easy boss. Very easy boss. So what you want to do immediately right after that one dies is go ahead and target another bomb bug, and do the same thing to the other side. 
Easy boss. We're done. There we go. We're done. We're good. End of the game. Roll the credits. Now we actually have to fight the real boss. And, if you couldn't tell, we actually can't access any bomb bugs anymore. So now we actually have to risk dying. Since there's no way for us to use any bombs on him. And we're gonna have to avoid its attacks. But, what is that sound? Ew. That's right, our little mini-boss friend who we freed from darkness, whiteness, is now going to be carrying bombs. So what you can do is go ahead and use your boomer- Ah, target correctly, please. And go ahead and target the head, and you're going to want to time that fairly quickly. There we go, that was perfect, actually, and we're going to want to place ourselves right about here. And go ahead and just keep slashing at it, basically. So now our little friend will allow us to- Ow! Oh, I can't believe I fell for that. So that's one of the boss's moves. After it, uh, after it gets attacked, it'll shoot acid, I guess. Poisonous acid, which does hurt. And- Ow! Oh, okay, I should not have gotten hit there. That was pretty bad. Let's play Curse. Get right there. Let's go ahead and throw the boomerang, and boom! Did I miss? I totally missed. God. I got the other person. But whatever, that means less for us to take care of. And let's go ahead and hit that. Hit that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah, I hit the wall. Piece of shit. God. Okay, this is why the timing is kind of important. This can... This is... It can be fairly slow with how you do this. You kind of have to be pretty careful. This should be a good one right here. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Boom, there we go. So let's go ahead and right here should be good and go ahead and finish him off Well done. Well done indeed. That's what Midna was looking for. A fused shadow. Dark power. Light spirit called dark power. Screw you! We didn't even you didn't even do anything. I did everything. Total of three fused shadows. I think the other light spirits have the rest. Understood. That means, uh, I don't, you're not gonna tell me what they are unless we find the rest of them. It could be like, death, for me. Like, you'll tell me, and then because you tell me, you'll have to, I'll have to die. Okay, now we gotta go find the other two. Fine! We'll do it your way, since you're my shadow and you can suffocate me, and I kinda need my friends, otherwise I'll be lonely. But anyways, um, which is kinda cool is actually, you can actually go into this water, and, uh, if you look down it actually looks kind of cool I don't know how it goes on for like forever but anyways let's go ahead and get this heart piece heart container your life energy is increased by one and been fully replenished all right let's go ahead and talk to you want to go outside are you all done here indeedly so